Hi, I'm Rob Hansford from Dirtfish. We're in Chichester, which is primarily known to be the home of Goodwood, but hidden away in plain sight is Rally Replay. Let's take a look inside. Uh, welcome to Rally Replay. This is the new home of rallying here in the UK. Um, we specialise in all things rallying, from vehicle sales, vehicle servicing, and sale of new racewear, and down to memorabilia and merchandise for the avid enthusiast. Uh, well, should we go take a look around? Absolutely. So this is a 1992 Clancy Delta Integrale Evo, known as a Deltona. Uh, this car was a works car built by Abarth uh, for Diddy Oriel, and he won the 1000 Lakes Rally in Finland and Rally Australia with it in 92. And it's a very significant car, and it was also the car that wrapped Lancy's sixth and final manufacturer's championship. And what is it about the car that stands out for you? I think it's just the stance of the car, the wide arches, the rear spoiler, Wherever you look, it's all aggressive, but it's all for form. Yeah, and I mean, should we take a look in the, uh, the cockpit? I know it was something else back in those days, wasn't it, really? Yes, and obviously safety of roll cages has come on a long way since. You've got these little door bars. Um, this particular example, we fit it with race tech seats, which we're a dealer for here in the UK, um, just to make it more usable. Um, but everything else remains original. It's got the original um, dash, the Magneti Morelli electronic dash, all there for a reason. So when you're restoring these cars, are there any hidden gems that you, you find, especially like with this one in particular? Yes, from time to time, there's a few things you find hidden away. Um, but this car's got something a little bit unique that the works cars had in period. Just down in here in the door jam, there's a small screw which will adjust the boost pressure uh, on the electronic dash. And there's three settings for that um, with the aim to reduce um, boost pressure for low grip stages. If it started to rain, you got caught out on the wrong tyres, you can reduce the boost to use full throttle and hopefully get the best stage time at the end. So this is the, the most modern vehicle in our showroom at the moment. It's built by M Sport in Poland as a, a Rally 4 car. So it's a front wheel drive, modern specification car. A sequential gearbox, just over 200 horsepower. Um, what was previously the Junior World Championship car. Uh, obviously now make their way into the, the regional championships and we've got one that we, we look after and use ourselves. So this is uh, just a road car, so it's an 88 8 valve, and um, so the first version of the Integrale. Um, we work very closely with Mickey Biazion, as I mentioned before, uh, and we restored this car in collaboration with him uh, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of his first world title. So this is a, a 1976 Fiat 131 Abarth. Um, all the works cars started off as a standard road going car, one of 400. Uh, and this car was then uh, used by Abarth for press uh, duties. It was driven by Giorgio Pianta on the San Remo Rally as a course car. And then it was painted in quite iconic colours and that were used by Walter Roll in the 1980 World Championship. And it was displayed at the Trin Motor Show uh, on Fiat and Lancia stand as a way to, to bring the car to the people and promote um, the exercise of rallying. Well, tucked away in the back corner of, of the showroom is arguably my favourite machine uh, in here, actually. And it's not even a rally car. Uh, it's the Lancia Team Van. Um, it's quite a machine, isn't it? It it's is. A... It, uh, it's quite a, a showpiece as well as a functional vehicle. Um, this is a, a 242. This was the equivalent to the Transit Van in Italy in the 80s. And this is what Lancia Team and Fiat Team used to service all the cars on events. And what have you done with, with the van since you've had it? Uh, so this is a, a modern kind of replica as such. Uh, so it's got all modern internals, so modern shelving units, a modern generator, modern power output. So the idea is we can take it to a historic event and actually use it and, and look period. How did you work out where to yes, place things uh, to make the most out of it? It was all based off period photos, obviously using new components, but how they did it in period generally, that was the best way. Obviously, Abarth would have put a lot of money into developing a service unit to make them as efficient as possible. And I think, you know, they've done it the best way. There's no point trying to improve on their design, keep it authentic and usable. Another very special car. This is one of the more original um, Deltonas. So again, it's a, this was a late 91 car. Uh, it was one of three cars built by Abarth as a test car for the 92 season. So it's not just all about cars here at Rally Replay. We've also got a, a section preserved away very nicely as a bar. Um, yeah, it's quite a special bar as well, isn't it? It is. It's our, our small uh, little memorial to Henry Toivonen, uh, featuring the very wing that was fitted 
to the front right hand corner of his Delta S4, which won the RAC rally back in 85, the debut of the S4. You've also got something tucked away just out here as well, haven't you? A few yes, marks. Uh, you never know who you might <laughs> pop into at Rally Replay, so we have Mickey Biazion and Nicky Grist to come visit us and, and sign our wall, and you never know who you might see having a coffee here. And if you think it's a special down here, then we'll wait and see what we've got in store upstairs. So this is a small area where we rotate the display quite often. There are a load of period bits of memorabilia and very important trophies and helmets and that were used by some quite significant names over the years. We were very fortunate to get quite a lot of Martin Holmes' archive after his, uh, his death. And we've got his original trophies uh, from the Circuit of Ireland and Galway Rally and also some of his original cameras, his typewriters, all the draft copies of all his famous Pirelli World Rally and annuals. And as you say, these items get um, rotated, along with the cars as well get rotated yep, as well, the cars they? always change every couple of months, so it's never the same stuff in here. So not everything is about history here at Rally Replay, um, although that is a very special part, but we also have a, a retail section, don't you? We do so, indeed, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we, um, we're a full uh, Sparco dealership, uh, we stock the martini cloven to link back to the cars you see on display but then right through to the helmets the race suits likes the martini suit and also your normal race suits your hands devices your race boots your race gloves there's really something for everyone and it's also to get kitted out you have to try the stuff on get the right sizing it's very crucial you want to be comfortable when you're in a rally car in the heat or in the cold it's got to fit so anyone can come down get fitted out and try everything on make sure it fits before you purchase and it's not only cars and racewear that we sell, it's seats as well. Um, so we've got the range here from Racetech, and it's very important to come down to us, get fitted out for a properly fitting seat. As you can see, you're above the harness holes on the seat, you don't fit it properly, and that would be an expensive mistake if you were to uh, purchase them online or you had an accident and it would cause quite a considerable amount of damage to yourself. That's the end of our tour here at Rally Replay. If you're ever in the area in Chichester, make sure you get yourself down here. It's an Aladdin's cave for any rallying fan. Uh, Adam, thanks very much for showing us around. It's, it's been brilliant. It's our pleasure. Thank you for visiting us and seeing the cars that are on display. And for anyone that hasn't visited us yet, we're just off the A27 here in Chichester, very close to Goodwood. Uh, keep an eye on our social media, just under Rally Replay for Instagram, Facebook and see what cars are in here next. You never know what you might find. Well, thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.